we've been taking the car and, and not just driving it, the, the design of the vehicle, but actually driving it driverless. So uh, taking it around a route amongst the public and uh, getting them to experience what this vehicle's like when it's actually driverless. So there's a lot of incidents for it to deal with, you know, cyclists, skateboarders, and a lot of uh, pedestrians walking and commuting in, in and out of Milton Keynes that they have to deal with. Is it quite a fluid drive? Because, again, if people are darting in and around the car all the time, you would imagine it got a bit stop-start. It wasn't too bad here in Milton Keynes because the, uh, there's not a huge density of the of population walking on the on the pavements. So it was quite smooth, really, but I guess in, in much busier situations it would be difficult. We're talking now about self-drive vehicles in 2019. Is, is that realistic? I think it is, and I think it's a sign of the what, what the UK government is doing. They're very keen to attract this development and this research to the UK. Transport Systems Catapult very much part of that, and working with the good academic and uh, universities around the, the UK to accelerate that research.